So in this video, we need to write down quartic equations in expanded form with integer coefficients with the following roots. Okay? So what we want to do first is make sure that we can write down um, what the coefficients are going to be in uh, the sums of roots. Okay? So we're going to have alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Okay? So the sum of the roots. We're also going to have alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus um, beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta. Okay? So that's the sum of the product pairs. Then we've got alpha beta gamma plus alpha uh, beta delta plus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta. And finally, we're going to have alpha, beta, gamma, delta. OK? Now, what are the alpha, beta, gamma, delta? Well, they are these values here. OK? So I need to be able to combine them. So first of all, we've got the alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 for number 1. And so that is 10. Right. Then we're going to have uh, 1 times 2 plus 1 times 3 plus 1 times 4 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 3 times 4. And that gets us 35. OK? Then we're going to have 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 4 plus 1 times 3 times 4 plus 2 times 3 times 4. So that's what I'm doing here, plugging in, and I get 50. And then finally, alpha, beta, gamma, so 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is 24. OK? So remember, they go negative, positive, negative, positive. So we're going to have z to the 4 take away 10z cubed plus 35z squared take away 50z plus 24 equals 0. OK, so we can just check that. We go to menu and then A for the polynomial solver. And we want degree 4. So if we type this one in, 1 minus 10, 35 minus 50 and 24, we get 4, 3, 2, 1. OK, and there are my roots. So I know that it's worked. OK, right. So that's number one. OK, so let's have a look at number two. So first of all, we've got to add them together. So minus two, take away five, plus seven, plus ten. And so that gets us ten. OK, then we've got the sum of the product of the roots, product pairs. So we've got minus two times minus five. Then we've got minus 2 times 7 plus negative 2 times 10. Then we've got um, minus 5 times 7, then minus 5 times 10, and then 7 times 10. And we should get minus 39. Right, next one up. So we've got minus 2 times minus 5 times 7 plus minus 2 times minus 5 times 10 plus minus 2 uh, times 7 times 10, then plus minus 5 times 7 times 10. And that gets us minus 320. And then the product of the four roots, so minus 2 times minus 5 times 7 times 10, gets us 700. OK? So we would have z to the 4, Take away 10z cubed, then take away 39z squared, then plus 320z plus 700 equals 0. So let's double check that on the uh, equation solver. Oh, I accidentally put in for a quadratic. I don't want that. So I want a quartic. So we've got 1 minus 10 
minus 39, 320, and 700. And we get 10, 7, minus 2, minus 5. Okay, so all's good with that one. Right. Oh, uh, yes, that. Okay. Let's try number three. Okay, so we have two thirds, uh, take away one ninth, plus one twelfth, plus five sixths. And we get 53 over 36. Okay. Right, then we've got two thirds times uh, minus one ninth. Then plus two thirds times one twelfth. Plus two thirds times five sixths. Right, so we've done that. Then take away, um, so plus minus one ninth, I'll, I'll put that in, uh, times one twelfth. Plus negative one ninth times five sixths. Plus one twelfth times five sixths. And we get 109 over 216. Okay, then next one, so we're going to have two thirds times by minus one ninth times by one twelfth plus two thirds times minus one ninth times five sixths, then plus, um, so which one have I done? I've done that one, and then I've done that one. Right, then I've got the two thirds uh, times one twelfth times by five sixths, and then plus minus one ninth times by one twelfth times by five sixths. It's difficult to keep track of them. Right, minus 19 over 648. And then finally, we've got two thirds times minus one ninth times by one twelfth times by five sixths. And we get minus five over 972. Okay, right, so we've got z to the four, take away 53 over 36 z cubed, plus 109 over 216 z squared, then, Take away a minus, so plus 19 over 648 z cubed. Take away, oh, z, not z cubed, z, sorry. Take away 5 over 972, and that's going to be equal to 0. Okay, so hopefully I can just multiply this through by 972. So let's find out. So uh, is 972... Uh, it's not going to take 648, is it? Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to multiply it through by 972 and just see what I end up with. 972 z to the 4. So 972 times 53 over 36 gets me 1431 z cubed. Then 972 times 109 over 216 is uh, 981 over 2z squared, and then 972 times 19 divided by 648 is 57 halves z, then take away 5 equals 0. So I'm going to have to multiply through by 2. 972 doubled is 1944z to the 4. Then we've got 1431. So 2862 z cubed plus 981 z squared plus 57 z take away 10 is equal to 0. So fingers crossed, okay, that this has worked out. So I'm going to go to my, qu my Cortic solver and plug this in. So 1944 minus 2862 981 57 minus 10, fingers crossed, we've got 5 sixths, 2 thirds, and that's the 1 twelfth, and we've got the minus 1 ninth. Hey, right, okay. 
Whew. Right, so that's number three. That's what happens when you make up some numbers. OK, right. So number four then. OK, so uh, I'm going to put my calculator into complex mode so I can deal with this relatively easily, I hope. OK, so we've got 5 take away 2 plus 3 take away i uh, plus 3 plus i. OK, and we get 9. So that's the sum of our roots. Right, so then we've got um, 5 times minus 2 plus 5 times 3 take away i uh, plus 5 times 3 plus i. Then we've got um, negative 2 times by 3 take away i and then plus negative 2 times by 3 plus i. And then finally plus 3 take away i times 3 plus i. And we get 18. Right, OK, then we've got the, um, the 3s. So we've got 5 times minus 2 times 3 take away i. Then plus 5 times minus 2 times 3 plus i. Then we've got um, the 5 times 3 take away i times 3 plus i. And then finally we've got the plus negative 2 times by 3 take away i times 3 plus i. And we get minus 30. So then finally alpha, beta, gamma, delta, the product of the 4. So 5 times minus 2 times by 3 take away i times by 3 plus i. And we get minus 100. So we've got z to the 4 take away 9z cubed plus 18z squared uh, plus 30z uh, and then take away 100 equals 0. Right, check it on the Cortex solver. So we've got 1, minus 9, 18, 30, and minus 100. And we get the 5, minus 2, 3 plus i, and 3 minus i. Right, so that one's sorted. Well, we've got one more to go. Glutton for punishment, this is. OK. I haven't made a mistake yet. Touch wood. Right, OK, so number five. First of all, we've got the sum of the roots. Now, that plus that is zero, and that plus that is ten. Right, that one's easy. OK, then we've got the product pairs. OK, so we've got i times minus i. Oh, I'm not in, I'm not in uh, complex mode anymore. That would help. So we've got i times minus i. Then plus uh, i times 5 plus 2i. Then plus i times 5 minus 2i. OK, so we've done that one, that one, that one. Then we've got... Um, plus negative i times 5 plus 2i, then plus negative i times 5 minus 2i. Then we've got the product of those two, 5 plus 2i times 5 minus 2i. And we should get 30. OK, then we've got the triplets. So i times minus i times by 5 plus 2i. Then plus i times minus i uh, times 5 minus 2i. Then plus i times 5 plus 2i times by 5 minus 2i. And then finally, 
plus negative i times by 5 plus 2i times by 5 minus 2i. I get 10. And then finally we've got the product of the four. So we've got i times minus i times by 5 plus 2i times by 5 minus 2i. And we get 29. So z to the 4, take away 10z cubed, plus 30z squared, take away 10z plus 29 equals 0. Right, let's try that in the quartic solver. So 1 minus 10, 30 minus 10, 29. And we get 5 plus 2i, 5 minus 2i, i and minus i. Excellent. OK, so that is how we can do it. Um, obviously, you've got to, what I was finding difficult was remembering which ones I'd actually done. So if I was doing this on paper, I would probably write each bit down so that I can keep track of it much more easily and I don't make a silly mistake. But remember, you've got that cortic solver on your calculator, which allows you to check your final answer to see if it's correct.